Hey beautiful people, how are you all doing today? It's your girl Maria David and I'm back again with another interesting video. Today's video is part two. If you have not watched the part one, don't worry, I will give you the gist. It's part two of this particular story. This woman that came to say that her husband's mistress is our mother. Like, our husband is cheating on us with our mother. And she went on to explain why, how she found out that they were, you know, together and she caught them together or something. And they actually came to, to meet and be like, yes, we're actually having an affair, you know, the audacity. So the part I posted then, she didn't finish the story. This is a continuation of the part. So this is a part four. I'm going to put the link of the first part down, comment, um, down in the description box. So if you've not watched it, you have to go back and watch it because it is a real gist. I know it's not a funny, it's not a funny story. It's a very touching story, but it's shocking like so shocking you need to go and watch the part one if you've watched the part one then you're here yeah. so now let's go ahead and listen to the rest parts of the story the rest part of the you know drama let's go and watch it okay okay you guys this is part four of how i ultimately caught my husband having an affair with my mother so the next day i had to get out of the house and i just had to talk to somebody anybody <laughs> And I had decided to reach out to my older sister, um, not the one that is adopted and not my baby sister, my older sister. Um, I went to her house and she lives just down the street from me. And so I went to go fill her in on the previous night. During that conversation, she had revealed to me that she had witnessed some inappropriate behavior between my mother and my husband as well. On Christmas day, just a couple months prior, the whole entire family had spent Christmas at our parents' house. And at one point during the day, mm. when my sister had walked into the kitchen, she walked in on my mother, leaned over the counter, clothed, but with my husband's groin pressed up against her behind. But I was what? just barely hearing about it for the first time right then and there. Anyway, I cried with her for a couple hours before I told her, I, I have to leave. I have to go talk to our dad now. Like, he needs to know what's going on. So I texted my dad and I told him that I needed to talk to him immediately and he agreed to meet up with me. When we were finally together, I told him I don't know how to say this without just saying it, so that's all I can do. And I said, I believe that mom and my husband are having an affair. And I expected him to be shocked, surprised, confused, mm -hmm, angry, mm -hmm. sad, something of the sort. Yeah, yeah. But he wasn't. He said... You need to go talk to your husband because today he's going to tell you the truth. And I said, what does that mean? Do you know something that I don't know? And again, he said, you need to go talk to your husband because today he's going to tell you the truth. So now I'm realizing that my dad already knows. Did yeah. my mother, when she finally went home the previous night, talk to him about it? Did she talk to him about it today before I talked to him about it? Like... Why is he beating around the bush and not having a fucking conversation with me about it? <sighs> but I was not about to go confront my ex-husband alone without support. Because if what I thought was happening was happening, I was going to need help. So my father, my older sister, my younger sister, and my grandmother met me at my house. So that they could be with the babies while I confronted my husband. Luckily, I was smart enough to pull up my phone and hit record before our conversation began. And he admitted to the whole affair. He admitted to everything. In detail, he told me about how horrible of a wife and a mom that I was and that what? he deserves better. He had no remorse. In fact, he seemed proud. And after he admitted to having an affair with my mom in my bed, what? he immediately began to talk about how we were going to split custody and what we were going to do with the house. And he revealed to me all the credit card debt that he had racked up that I had no idea about. He had it all planned out. 
Ooh, I cannot think I'd start crying. Um, I don't cry about this a lot anymore because I've had a lot of time to process it. Mm -hmm. But whew, the last few days have been overwhelming. A lot of people have asked, you know, how is your relationship with your mom? And not that going through this could ever be easy. <laughs> ever. But I think it'd be so different had we been estranged or didn't have a relationship. Mm. But my mom was my best friend. What? So anyway, after I recorded that whole conversation, um, I realized, you know, that this is my life, this is happening, and I've got two precious babies that I need to protect from growing up in an environment that my husband and mother were going to provide. So I had texted uh, my family that was downstairs watching the girls to get the girls and leave immediately. I don't care where you go right now, let me know where you're at, but you need to get the girls out of this house. Um, he told me that if he couldn't stand me, he could leave, but that he was not going to leave his house, that this was his house. So I knew that I had to go because I wasn't going to argue with him. So I packed the three suitcases that I own with the absolute necessities that my daughters and I would need. Mind you, at this point, they were 11 months old. Um, eventually found out that they were at my grandma's house, who also lives just down the street. And then, like I said before, my mom moved in that same night, too. So, that is the story of how I caught my husband having the affair and my mom having the affair and how I found out. I promise I have been reading so many of your guys' comments and reading your questions and I have been saving them and writing them down and I plan to answer all your questions. So, there are more videos to come on my story, uh, but this is the final part of how they were caught. I just wanted to say thank you again to everyone who has been so kind and so supportive of me. Um, I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful and oh, I'm not going to start crying again. That's so embarrassing. But seriously, thanks. Thank you for supporting me and finally using my voice and thank you for listening. Thank you. Wow. Wow. So our mom was actually our best friend. You know, there are some parents you have that probably you're not in contact with them or you're not even that close to them that means her mom is was a je jealous mom like i keep reading comments from you all and seeing posts like there are some mothers that are naturally jealous of their daughters now i see like no 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 to think that she just had her babies this is just this is wickedness this is pure wickedness what kind of a mother does that and after your daughter moved out of your of her ex-husband's house you moved in she's shameless very shameless very wicked these are the kind of women that do not deserve to have children they don't deserve to be called a mother because ah, what might ah, whatever your daughter must have done that's like the height of it i'm not even talking about the man here because the man was not even apologetic he was like mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah i'm sleeping with your mom and so Hey, you all things are happening, oh, like things are happening. <laughs> this is like the most shocking story I've, I've heard for a very long time. Like, I just see this thing in the movies, like movies, you know. I don't know, like, something like this is actually happening in real life. This is pure wickedness. I just, I, my love just goes out to her. Like, I hope she's okay, even as saying the whole thing and remembering 
everything she's even crying like ah the, this last pass was really shocking ah was really sad no 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 let me know what you all think about this down in the comment section <sighs> mother sleep with your daughter's husband moved in between you you all do you know that she moved in with the husband after the daughter moved out the man said she should move out hey anyways after the daughter moved out she moved in with moved in to go and stay with the guy then the guy dumped her like he actually dumped her because according to her um, story the first time the guy dumped her then she now went back to meet her husband that's the mother went back to meet her husband the father and the father accepted her back is it something like what kind of family is that like I just hope she goes no contact with her mom forever because she doesn't deserve, she should stop calling her mother because that is not a mom that is not just a mom you cannot be so wicked to someone you ah. this is a lot <laughs> it's a lot you all but here is the final part of the old gist let me know what you all think about this down the comment section I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check the past one if you haven't so that you can understand the old gist and then like and subscribe and share and put your thoughts down in the comment section i love to hear from you all as well and i'll see you all in my next video bye